Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Please know that everything said in this video is alleged and it's my very own personal opinion. So now that I've spoken on the live that Sonny did and lost a man, okay? I heard that Moses pled guilty the other day and was sentenced to 11 months in jail. Now, I don't know if the shit is true, but for entertainment purposes, I'll speak as though it is true, okay? Just in case it is. So it appears as though Moses violated his parole. It was said that he had four parole violations, which were he opened up a credit card without permission, traveled to Huntsville without permission, traveled in his truck out of jurisdiction and had a change of address and work and didn't notify them, the PO or whatever. If this is true, it almost seems as if he wanted to go back to jail, maybe as an out of the marriage because how easy is it to pick up the phone and notify your parole officer of changes or to simply ask permission and so on maybe he would rather be with the boys in jail and just want a wife so he can you know be with her during conjugal visits on the days that he feeling like he a straight guy or want somebody to put some money on his commissary okay he know destiny broke ass can't do it sonny said that he was going to be home soon. Did he take the plea deal without talking to her and she thinking he was about to come home? Is there a chance that he'll get out sooner than 11 months for good behavior or something? Maybe she was just lying about him coming home soon. Maybe she already knew what he was facing and got mad on that live because she knew that she was going to be out here looking crazy once the news hit. Because this is the man that she chose to marry. And in just 90 days... Like, did he not tell her that he was on probation? This is the man that she was bragging about winning. Flaunting that damn ring and everything. Oh, I'm the wife. Yeah, to a nigga in jail. You're a prison wife, ma'am. And conveniently, in your last life, you're going to say that people said that you should stay off the internet. So that's what you're going to do. You're going to stay off the internet probably because your ass embarrassed. Not because the people told you. You don't want to hear the I told you souls, okay? I told your ass that he was going to embarrass the shit out of you. You can't be out here doing people dirty and think you're about to live a happy life. Karma was like, psych. Y'all remember when Sonny made that live from the inside of that truck, mad as fuck? She was talking about somebody had doxed her. I think that's what she was talking about, y'all. She was mad as shit about the address, that address getting out because that address was going to prove that Moses had relocated something he wasn't supposed to do. And he had to have known that shit. Sonny and Moses had to have known the stipulations of his probation and just wanted to do what they wanted to do. And what Sonny wanted to do was come onto the show in a Huntsville, front, okay? What was another bitch nigga? Talking big shit in the process, okay? Since she claims to know so well how the system works, she should have known that Moses couldn't pick his ass up and go and move to a whole new state while on probation. Sonny is another Jennifer Williams. She was even posting a nigga in Huntsville knowing his ass wasn't supposed to be there. I told y'all Sonny was on the slow side, okay? But anyway, y'all, in that live that Sonny made saying that she was docs, you could tell that she felt like Destiny had something to do with it because she was saying some nasty shit subliminally. Like, nigga, a nigga could never play with me for 15 years saying, you know, she know her worth and how others don't know. No, she's like... She know her worth and how others know they ain't worth shit. Then she was insinuating that other women were sluts and she didn't have to take that route. I'm thinking that Sonny was so fucking mad because she knew it was a route for Moses then. In fact, she had probably just, Moses had probably just gotten locked up because he'd been in there for like a month. I think around the time that she did that particular live. Y'all, she was insinuating that people were sluts, saying she didn't have to slurp up no man and talk about her resume, you know. That's the bitch problem. She thinks she's better than other women. She thought that she was better than Destiny and deserved the guy that she had and called herself taking him from her. Now look at her. What do she got? Absolutely nothing. And she should have known better because whoever fuck with Destiny ain't shit themselves. So the fact that her ass was out here vying for an ancient ass nigga who she know was cheating on his first wife is insane. 
like she was going to be different. Now she got to sit at home alone and worry about who Moses cheating on her with while he locked up, okay? Because he was locked up while he was cheating on his first wife. Y'all know he going to be in there asking Destiny to send him nudes and she going to do it for a fee, okay? Her and Destiny, you know, ain't neither one of them shit and I don't give a fuck about neither one of them, but Destiny, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> How do I put it? Destiny could have been any woman. This is not about Destiny. And the fact that Sonny feel like she better than the next bitch and don't respect relationships that don't have a marriage certificate behind it, it's why I can't rock with her. When you do dirt, the shit gonna come back. You better believe Destiny has something to do with his ass getting locked up, but only in my opinion. Sonny was doing way too much, talking big shit, and Destiny, in my opinion, found a way to have Moses snatched from her like she thinks she snatched him from Destiny's ass, okay? And the way Sonny was talking shit to the women in the chat, like, bitch, just because we don't support you, it don't mean we hoes and slob random doorknobs, okay, and have stepped our way through life and don't have shit to offer, nigga, okay, like you do, and blah, blah, blah. Bitch, I got a degree. I got a degree, a business. I'm attractive, multi-talented, okay? And got good cooch. Just so we all the way clear. And all my kids are about one man. My kids know who their daddy is, and bitch, so do I. Okay? Because she wasn't just talking shit about destiny. She feels like she better than other women, period, in my opinion. Probably better than your mammy, but not me. Like, you have to watch how you move. And it ain't got shit to do with Destiny, like I said. Okay? Sonny moved in on that dude, married him, came onto the show, flung her ring and the dude, and she was about to buy a house in Huntsville so the girl could see them together. Okay? Was down at the baby daddy's rib spot. Like, girl, be glad that you didn't get beat, beat the fuck up. Like, for real. <coughs> Excuse me. Be glad that you didn't get beat the fuck up because where I'm from... That would have been the results of your shenanigans. Everybody ain't going to play with you. Okay? And you can fuck around and play on the internet and shit all you want to. Okay? Where I'm from, that's an instant on-site ass whooping. Okay? Oh, that's so-and-so across the street? Okay, bet. La, la, la. La, 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 la. Boop. Bitch be over there sound like Tiffany at her baby shower. I see stars. With her Quaker Oats man dress and lying ass. All she saw was some guy that was probably going to try to jump Big Lou because of some shit she started. Okay? But anyway. Destiny got Sunny ass back. And now Sunny over there mad and sad. Peggy said Destiny didn't have nothing to do with Moses getting locked up. But what the fuck do her crazy ass know? Y'all know Peggy, the uh, former male fan turned nutcase. Ariane's only customer. And Destiny, you may have been behind Moses getting locked up. And you may be over there cheesing just as hard as you was on Stormy's Live. But that still don't change the fact that you're a bum. Okay. <clears throat> excuse me, and have nothing going on in your life, shit ain't about to work out for you either. You a grimy ass bitch. I'm still not over you bringing your buy one, get one free, one ply roll of toilet paper buying ass on Mel's trip. Telling folks, <coughs> excuse me, telling folks that she was teaching Ariane how to respectfully cheat, knowing your ass was lying through the teeth. That your ass probably ain't even done paying for. That's exactly why LaBerry taking your ass through it. Before it's all over, your ass probably going to be just like Moses. Lock the fuck up, okay? I heard there was a warrant out for your arrest in Detroit. I don't know if it's true or not, okay? But I'll just say this. If you commit a crime in Huntsville, you commit one in your hometown, okay? What you need to do is call 1-800-LEAN on me because your ass is lost. You need a friend, okay? And I'm not talking about meals. So don't go trespassing over on her property and fuck around and get suplexed by Jason and his homeboys, okay? While you sending niggas to jail, ho, you could have gotten him back another way. But like I said, I balls you grimy. But Jason know what he was dealing with. You told that nigga you were still her and you meant that shit. That's why LaBerry finna 
make it so that you get another sad face pic standing up against the wall. Okay? And by the way, did Stormy help you pay that man his money? Or no, nah, bitch? If she did, ask her pint-sized, huge face superhero with a wig looking at ass how she gonna pay somebody else's bills. And not her own. But anyway, I'm done with these clowns. I done put out four videos. And I'm tired. Okay? That's gonna be all for this video. Y'all take care, and I will chat with y'all in the next one.